Trevor from Northwell Sarbatsara here. I've got with me one of our guys, Pete. Um, we're going to walk you guys through the basic covers uh, or, or guard positions and the basic strikes from Parakeva. So why don't we do this? Um, let's have you shift back a hair and face me, and I'm going to face the camera so they get two views of everything. All right. So guard position A. All right. B then becomes an angle off to the side, about 45. C is flat. D, the point droops to your knee. E, angles to your left. F, flat to your left, typically under. And G. Then from here, we go to our profile guards. H, yeah, I'm adjusting a little because of the ring. And I, right? Um, we're not gonna cover striking from the profile guards today. Although we are told that they make very powerful strikes, which we'll cover in another video. So, how do you hold things? How do we make a strike? How do we block? Anytime we strike, we want to teach the block to go with it. So, if we're here, Pete's going to develop his strike simply by projecting his hands forward and flipping his point back. Boom. Right? If he wants to hit me in the head with that, he will. Right? Right? I'm going to cover that as he does so with the edge of my buckler and my hands joined so that it performs this nice little V and catches his sword. So that if he's here, he's stopped. I can see his face under my buckler. I'm not blocking my own view. If I wanted to return the strike, simply come right back and he does the same thing to me. All right? Cutting descending from his right. So come around into this. You will notice here, I have put my blade in the plane as it strikes, and again, jam the edge of the buckler in. Okay? The Kepser use the edge of the buckler more than the face. If we look at how these bucklers are constructed, and this is a good example here, we can see the overlapping rings and the darkened face. Oftentimes, the base plate behind all of this would be made from heavy leather, not necessarily even metal, with metal reinforcing. So the strongest place to catch it is on the ring. Uh, similarly, if you look at the way we grip the backs of these with straps, catching it on the rim creates a little bit of built-in shock absorber, right? So um, let's flip sides here, because I want you to cut from your right again. So as he cuts from sending from his right, I'm here. You can see that. Same thing, flat from the right. Okay. I can do this. I can still make this parry a little more upright if I want and wedge it in here, right? If he cuts from the right knee, right? He comes forward here. I always have my, I typically want my point up because this puts me in the right position to slide in and thrust. Um, we can do all these same things from the kneeling position, right? So if we're down here, he can go ahead and strike my head, right? Strike angle to my head from your right. Flat. Right. Then angle from down there. Right. And boom. Um, we can mirror everything on the other side. You can play with H and I. But these are the basic cuts and the basic covers. Principles of the cover. Wherever the blow is coming from, I jam it. I counter punch. This is Kepsis sword and buckler has a very aggressive defense. Um, offense is defense. Most times when a blow comes in, you look for where it goes and punch it. One other thing I want to cover, um, because LSU really does not, is defending against the thrust. So if Pete were to drop his point and go for a thrust, trying to cover that with the, my buckler edge is much harder. I have to catch it and shift it. So most often, for a thrust, as he comes in, I'm going to parry a thrust with my sword, check, and cover. Hey. 